guys, it's Mike, and there are chickens in my living room. After a long, arduous journey, and UPS losing them in Texas, I have chickens. So, not really a video like uh, I usually post, but I wanted to share my chickens and, and uh, show you guys some five-day-old chicks that we just got in and what we're going to have here on the homestead. They are just darling little things. Hey, honey. It's okay. So we've got this girl here. She's a salmon favorel. It's a breed I used to raise as a kid. They're great. They're very friendly, very cold hardy. They don't lay very large eggs, but they do lay a good number of eggs. And they have a really pretty kind of uh, salmon or wheaten pattern to them and the roosters are like a dark jet black with beautiful saddles on them. Hopefully these are all hens, that's what we ordered. This one, you know, I know, as they're like babies they've got those big fluffy faces because they're going to have a, they are a bearded birds so with beards and muffs on them and they even, honey it's okay, oh, they're alright even have five toes so that's very weird they're one of the few breeds that have five toes I do have another breed in there that has five toes um, we'll get to those guys in a second so put you back little one all right so we've got another little baby out here and unfortunately I did order uh, two of these and I do have two of the Favreau's I got as well and this is Oh, I know you're so upset. Is a really just a fancy Easter egg. They call them a, a favicana, which is a cross between a favorel and a blue americana. So you kind of get a blue favorel that lays green eggs. So they also, like the favorels, have five toes, they have feathered legs, and they really come out looking more like a favorel than an Americana, but they get that beautiful blue slate color that you can kind of see on her wings there. And unfortunately, like I said, we did order two of these guys, but because of the long shipping, one of them didn't end up making it. So we still have the one. Come on, you're okay, honey. Put you back. And now, I'll sneak right up on you. Now these guys aren't as useful of a breed, but it's one that my wife really wanted to get. This girl here is a black, or well, black blue splash cochin. Uh, you don't really know what you're gonna get with the blue splash and, or the blue genetics. It looks like she's gonna come out more of a black than she is a uh, blue splash. These are big birds. She'll be like eight pounds when she's an adult. Uh, the Favreau's Favicons are like a six pound bird. And they've got these great feathered legs, you can see. So they're going to be very, uh, very big, fluffy birds uh, when they get to be adults. They're very tame and docile. Don't lay a lot of eggs, but they are a great just bird to have as a pet. Or if you want to hatch out eggs. Oh, and you pooped on me. That's all right. We also have a white one in there. So we've got the black blue splash and a white cochin. So all together, uh, five birds out of the six that we ordered. Um, like I said, unfortunately, they for whatever reason shipped them to the other side of the country only to ship them back here. So I don't know what the mistake was. They sat in Texas for two days before they even shipped them out so they ended up being in transit for four days before they made it here luckily they're all doing very well and uh look forward to raising them up so we can have some chickens on the homestead as far as the setup i've kind of got them in it's basically just a little uh pen that i used to use for my uh blue tongue skink uh to have him just kind of out and about so i'm borrowing it for now to raise these guys up since we're getting them here in the fall and temperatures are getting so cold I don't want to move them out into the coop or the barn because I don't have heating in either of those yet. I also uh, kind of departed from the typical heat lamp 
and got one of these Tractor Supply uh, Producer Pride heat panels or brooder panels. Okay. Yeah, I can't really see it. I will grab you. So it's basically just a panel, the bottom's heated. It's got two modes, a brooder mode and a heater mode. It's got little notches here so you can actually mount it, hang it up on the wall of a coop. It has feet so that you can actually set it up and have it like standing vertically. But right now I'm just going to obviously use it as a brooder. I might use it as a heater. I don't like providing heat in the coops uh, unless it's real cold. See, there's our white coaching right there. But otherwise, I got them set up pretty simple for right now. I only had them for a couple of days. So, uh, yeah, these are our chickens. I thought I'd introduce them because they'll probably be on the channel quite a bit as they continue to grow and since they're kind of just right here in my living room for the time being. But if you guys are interested in... in following the adventures of these little guys as they grow up and become our chickens let me know leave a like subscribe i'll see you guys next time